The Defence Ministry has said that the Union Cabinet has approved financial powers to the Deputy Chiefs and Command Heads of the three services to clear projects worth 200 crore rupees for the items under capital procurement projects that are related to overhaul upgrades and refit that will enhance the utility of existing assets and will facilitate faster processing and implementation of the capital procurement projects. Larsen and Tubro has delivered the final and 100th K9 Vajra self-propelled howitzers to the Indian Army, and there are also reports that the Army can place additional orders for K9 Vajra. As the Army has a requirement of 180-wheeled variant of self-propelled howitzers. The company is also looking to export the K9 Vajra to foreign countries, as the Modi government has recently cleared the K9 for export along with 151 other defense products. The adaptive camouflage technology developed by Hyper Stealth Technologies Private Limited has won the IDEX Challenge 2021, that has made the company eligible for a grant of 1.5 crore rupees by the Defense Ministry. Adaptive Camouflage Technology is a unique camouflage system that uses modules which looks like cells in a honeycomb, which is used to cover the flanks of an armored vehicle. These modules are made of elements that can be cooled or heated up very quickly, and apart from masking the tank's infrared signature, it can create different patterns to make the tank look like other objects like a car or a piece of rock, which will give significant advantages on the battlefield. The request for information for 93,895 close quarter battle carbines worth over $110 million requires the carbines to have an effective range of 200 meters, and its weight should not be more than 3.3 kilograms without their magazines and accessories, and must be 650 millimeters in foldable condition and 800 millimeters in extended condition, and must be capable of operating in extreme temperatures ranging between minus 20 degrees Celsius and over 45 degrees Celsius. Officials have said, that another request for information for 3 lakh carbines and 40,000 light machine guns will also be issued by the end of 2021. A French firm Artesis has delivered two units of Shearer sonar measurement and calibration system to the Indian Navy, which will allow the Navy to calibrate its newest hull-mounted sonar systems. The contract has been provided through Bharat Electronics Limited and will be used mainly for various acoustic emissions and receptions for performance assessment. American firm General Electric and Garden Reach shipbuilders have signed an agreement to collaborate on designing integrated electrical and hybrid propulsion systems for future naval ships, with specific focus on green energy technologies. The Indian Army has placed project sanction order for the prototype development of very high-frequency and ultra-high-frequency software-defined radio to 18 Indian companies under the Make 2 category, under which there will be no government funding for prototype development, but there is an assurance of order upon successful development and testing of the prototype. The cabinet has also enhanced financial powers in the Make 1 category, and the government will now fund up to 70% of the prototype development cost for design and development of equipment and major platforms or upgrades. As the National Aerospace Limited is working on two pre-production SARAS Mark II aircraft by 2024, the laboratory has issued a tender to carry out the design and execution of complete interiors and external painting of fuselage assembly of SARAS Mark II aircraft, along with the development of bypass duct casing assembly that will be used in aero engine application, and the procurement of avionics suite for the SARAS Mark II aircraft. Oh, Mark, drop it.